Hey guys, Farad the Farad Gator here, and I am back today behind the camera, finally uploading uh, for this week, which is March, uh, what is it, March 2nd, 2021, and I do apologize for not uploading a video yesterday on my scheduled day, as I kind of got carried away with some other project, and uh, soon you'll figure out what that project is, but I figured do an update as far as where I put the previous things from last week and last month before I do finally put everything away for this uh, month's purchases. But as you guys can probably see, I did put Brawly in like a miscellaneous shelf because <laughs> I don't really have a rhyme or reason to this shelf. It's just a couple things I do appreciate and like and all that, so I put them there. And as far as upgrade or like um various other things, I did get a um Star Wars Valentine Starts Vader. And I did kind of put them on another shelf or like have been adjusting that uh the way they're displayed on there that way they don't take up too much room. But I think I am going to be setting up more um more shelves over here. And the uh, Hot Wheels wall didn't really change. I think the newest one that I did acquire is this Arkham Knight um, Batmobile in the red variation. But now we're going to rotate around and go for a little trip because I don't feel like pausing my recording and bring you into the dork room and for those who have been subscribers for a long period of time will remember this right here which is the island now this has been with my like with a family or with a family friend of mine for a good while and i finally went down and picked it up so those who have been a uh, subscriber to my channel should remember it because it did hold my first display for like my cards and all that. My card openings. And now it's finally home where it belongs. So we have the X-Men display. Didn't really change too much. Just moving a couple characters around. To kind of make room for others. And right down here. That's where the runoff is going to be. I am going to put more figures on this as I go I do apologize for any outdoor noise now this shelf has done some changing because I kind of figured since I am going to need some more space for comic heroes and villains I did some swapping around so I will show where I put what in a little bit purgatory shelf has really not been like too major nothing changed there and bending down here is the first change where I did move my cosmic uh, characters. And if you guys haven't noticed it already, I did make a custom Lalandra. I was just waiting on her cape. It is a fully wired articulated cape. Then down here we have the Captain America shrine that everyone is used to by now. I will probably be adding more Captain Americas as I go because they always seem to make another cap. And down here we have the riders and a dirt bike that I use for props. Because they were moved for more room as far as like the hero shelf because that was getting full and to the point where it was about to uh have everything tumbled down and that wasn't a good idea. So I did put everyone back in a better spot and I have plenty of room so I'll zoom out so I can show you how much room I have left. I have tons of room for activities. And moving down, probably this shelf will be the next one to have a continuation as uh, I am running a whole, like I am running out of room. I think I have, room just enough for like either one or two figures there 
And then uh, I will probably be moving them because I don't know where to get risers or like um, ac yeah, acrylic risers from. So I'll have to investigate. Now down here I do have my villain shelf. And I did put Vengeance, I finally put Vengeance away into the villains because I had room for them. And then back there you can see my orb. Now if you guys were wondering, I did put my uh, stiltman up here as he is way too tall to actually fit on the shelf. And that's only with two hand ninjas. I see a bunch of maniacs uh, making theirs like 12 foot and 11 foot tall. I will not be doing that, so that that's going to answer that. I will probably be investigating if I can't grab some more uh, hand ninjas just for the army building. And I know that um, Lady, De Lady Death Strike is coming. So I'll probably buy a couple more for attention for a contingent for her, but I am not going to be making my stiltman any taller. That's just for mad people who have tons of money for just about everything else. Now moving on to the spiders, I didn't really put anyone away, but I will have in the next video, which you'll see in Mo or yeah, <laughs> April. <laughs> yep, April, the new month. It's right between March and April. So in April, I will be putting um, these purchases, or like the purchases that you will see soon, because I am going to be pausing this, I'm moving on. And you'll see what I'm talking about in three, two, one. And we are back. Now, for those who are new to this, or like find your way to just skipping the buttons, because I know some people would uh, tend to skip what I bring or like to what I bought. I I know you guys So for everyone that doesn't know or needs a reminder Every month or like every of the or every end of the month I do a video where I showcase purchases from that month so for example if I do a display for uh, January the video will be in Friday or will be in February so these are all of the purchases I have made in February. So beginning the month, we got the Marvel Deluxe Venom with the Fortnite, or Jazzwares Fortnite um, Sentinel figure, McFarland the Drowned figure. I'm not referring to them as like Batman negative 452. We have Power Rangers the Lightning Collection, um, Pumpkin Wrapper, and the new to me McFarlane uh, Warhammer 40k um, figure. Something just fell in the background. I'm not going to reveal what that just fell. But I, I do want to go on a tangent here because this by far is going to be a contender for my favorite figure of this year. Because like I, I did do some adjustments to it, as you guys can see it is glossy and shiny because I did paint it over with um, a gloss paint and touched up the emblem there in a nice solid gold. And that figure, oh it's just so much fun to play with. But moving on, we got the Amazing Spider-Man 2, or the Amazing Spider-Man uh, variation of the Lizard. And this guy is really interesting because it was a kit bash that I found and someone didn't put in the full effort. Like they had a Dolph Lundgren um, head from the Rocky Balboa movie on the Colossus body. So I did paint up the hair to make him more like look more like Colossus if he was depowered. So he's in the display. Moving up here, we have the old Toy Biz Marvel Legend um, Iron Fist in the green variation from, I think that's the Apocalypse Wave. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Then, then these guys are also a little bit of a contender for the uh, best figure of the year because these are the, what is it, 
lanyard alien figures. They're only 10 bucks, but they sport 25 points of articulation. And they're just very, very detailed and beautiful to play with. So much fun to play with. We have Rotlop Fun from the Green Lantern Terrible Movie. We don't talk about that movie. And this was actually the first lanyard figure I bought from the Alien line. And I do love the fact that you have a subtle green through the blue. So that is a fun figure to play with. We have the McFarlane Azrael Bat Armor. The I think this one is the Alien Hunter. Well, this is the Alien Prototype. And this is the Alien Runner. Correct me if I'm wrong, I don't know too much about aliens, but these guys are really cool figures. We have the, the Azrael Classic um, figure, to, well, classic to me, as this is the form, like this is the outfit that I know him in. Then we have good old Captain America from Avengers Endgame, uh, part of the Fat, or yeah, the Bro Thor wave. And I finally found him over at uh, Big Lots. So check your Big Lots if you have them, or if you have them, and uh, maybe you guys can get lucky with that. But moving down, like moving back so you guys can see the full picture. In total, I acquired at least 12 figures. Last time I checked, it was 13. But yeah, guys, um, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe and like because I am trying to get to a goal of 300 before the end of this year. Uh, by May, I will do something special if that's the case. And I did take a look at my YouTube analytics and it says only 48 people are not, or 48% of people are not subscribed to my channel, which is fantastic. If we could lower that down to maybe 40 by the end of this year, that would also be great. But anyway guys, I'm Frau, you guys have been fantastic, and I will catch you all in the next video. Peace out folks.